again, there's a point why it's called supplement. You know, it's supplement of good nutrition that you're having. It's not a main focus. Uh, it should never be a main focus. Dude, I miss San Diego, bro. Popping on a west side, cause it's why I stay. I just made a thousand, blue, it ain't face. I've been going in, now, I'ma close the case. I can't wait no more, man, I gotta blow the day. Popping on a west side, cause it's why I stay. I just made a thousand. Right. But you don't, um, but you don't oppose to it, like if we were to start doing that. And the only reason I'm saying that is because with vegetarian clients I have, I'm, I'm realizing that. It's hard to get uh, a lot of protein in without having a protein shake of some sort, whether it's pea, pea protein, uh, whey protein, you know, whatever type of protein you decide to get. Um, you know, there's different types, but you know, I'm not saying you should be, you know, on pre-workout BCAAs, you know, protein and all these types of different types of supplements. But just like you know, supplements that will again, there's a point where it's called supplement. You know, it supplements the good nutrition that you're already having. It's not. You know, a main focus uh, it should never be a main focus. Uh, but supplements are there to, you know, supplement. You know, uh, if you if you're low in vitamin D, you know, because you don't go out that much in the sun, you maybe take a vitamin D supplement. You know, stuff like that. It's not no supplement is necessary, or you know, um, yeah, I guess necessary. It's all based off of a personal, you know, preference. And with vegetarians, I, I realize that. You know, having some sort of protein shake supplement uh, is beneficial to their protein intake. So, um, just a thought, just something I want to put in my notes. I love why. Like, I love the reason why. You know, uh, for me, like, the reason I work so hard is because I remember my freshman year I was homeless, and I remember, like, not being able to afford, like, fucking Cheetos at 7 Eleven. And so, like, me or my family, and I was just like, dude, my son's not living like this. You know, so I think about that daily. It's like my, my future son is never gonna live how I grew up and I just am motivated by that. Like, that's my why, literally with whatever I do. And so I think either you know it now, you know, maybe you'll warm up a bit more and, and, and you'll share it. But like, that's kind of what I'm looking for is that deeper why, because that, that stuff's not gonna burn out, you know, and like motivation will die, but you know, that why will never die. Right in your face. I've been going in, uh, I'ma close the case. I can't wait no more, man. I gotta blow the day. Popping on the west side, cause that's why I stay. I just made a thousand, blow it in your face. I've been going in, uh, I'ma close the case. I can't wait no more, man. I gotta blow the day. Alright guys, if you want a good bicep and tricep superset, this is one of my favorite. It's the cable push down, and the second exercise is gonna be the cable bicep curl. They're one of my favorites because you don't have to go from this machine on this side of the room to this machine on this side of the room. You literally stay in the same area, and you could do two exercises. Just move the cable down from the cable push down to the curls. That's it, try it out. So the second exercise is the cable bicep curl. This go heavy a lot of people will go conservative they won't go as heavy i see people looking around while they're doing this exercise go heavy you know, challenge yourself don't lose form but go heavy on cable curls cables is not a time to take it easy definitely up the weight and push yourself on these because you'll feel the burn on this superset What's going on guys? This is the first exercise in the shoulder tri-set lateral raises. I like to do them seated. That's gonna focus more on the lateral shoulder. And these are great guys for getting that V shape, getting a little wide on the upper body, coming down, getting real nice lean in the waistline. Try these out. The second exercise I'm doing are front raises. Again, focusing on palms facing each other. So go in neutral grip. This is gonna focus way more on the front shoulder. Try these out. Hey. 
Lastly, I finish with shoulder press. These you can do heavy, you can go a little light, uh, like medium weight, but I wouldn't recommend going your max weight because you just did the lateral raises, just did the front raises. So make sure it's enough weight for you to feel it. Try this out, 15 reps each. Let me know how you like it. Popping on the west side, cause it's why I stay. 